Hello everyone, my name is Zena Bafalavi, an NYSA associate at Olisa Abakuba Lega, and I welcome you to Lego Room. I will be discussing corporate restructuring. Corporate restructuring is simply the arrangement or the rearrangement of the affairs of a company. Corporate restructuring can either be internal or external. Types of internal corporate restructuring, arrangement and compromise. This is where the company makes an arrangement and compromise between either its debtors or shareholders. The shareholders, usually the holders of some class of shares, such as prevalent share shares, are made to forgo it for ordinary shares, or with its debtors, where debtors are made to forgo some debts for equity in the company. Then we have arrangement for sale. This is usually a company voluntary winding up. Where a company can pay its debts within a year, it can opt for a complaint voluntary wind up. That's where they sell the complaint to another complaint or another individual. And then we have management buyout. Management buyout is simply when the management of the company, usually the board of directors, acquire the shareholders of another of the other shareholders. Then we have the external corporate restructuring. Types of external corporate restructuring are mergers and acquisition. People think measures and acquisition are the same thing, but the investment and security act has made a distinction between measures and acquisition. Measures is when two or more companies come together to form a company. This can either be horizontal, vertical, or conglomerates. Horizontal, when two companies that are direct competitors come together to form a company. Vertical, when two companies who are not direct competitors but have overlapping needs come together. Conglomerates, we have two companies who does not even have the same interest. For instance, an insurance company and a clothing company coming together to become one. Acquisition is just simply the acquisition of a substantial shares or interest in a company that is subject to section 442 and 443 of SEC rules. Another type of external corporate restructuring is management buying. This is where the management of another company buys the shares of another company. Then we have the take over offer. This is where the management or another individuals or shareholders of a company goes to another company and buys at least thirty percent of their shares and not less than thirty percent, not more than fifty. Person, then that will say a takeover has occurred. Corporate restructuring is a very, very delicate process because it involves the change in the affairs of the company, which may affect the consumers, the shareholders, even the directors of the company. So, because of that, it is an highly regulated process. It is regulated by any industry in which the company, both the acquiring company and the other company belongs to. It is regulated by SEC, it is regulated by the FCCPC mostly. So once mergers, acquisition, corporate restructuring or anything is taking place, the first thing is due diligence, which is usually done by professionals such as investment brokers, legal practitioners, accountants, stockbrokers and others. Some of the importance of the legal practitioners in corporate restructuring are when conducting due diligence. It is the legal practitioner, it's the job of the legal practitioners to go to court and obtain orders when it is needed, such as in measures where court order is needed. They, are, they conduct regulatory bodies, for instance, FCCPC, uh, they, they get consent from FCCPC, SEC, and other regulatory bodies that consent is needed to be gotten from. They help negotiate the cost of transaction. They prepare memorandum of understanding. They prepare schemes of agreement. They make sure that intellectual property is not being tampered with. They make sure that the company, what they're acquiring, and the other is regulatory compliant. And they make sure that the rights of the employees, you know, the rights of the employees of all the companies are not being tampered with. And when it comes to, when the push comes to the shelf, where maybe an action arises, like in a major way, major that needs to be revoked, or in the case of a dissenting shareholders, they go to court to represent the, 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 both the dissenting party and the other parties. Before taking any steps when it concerns corporate restructuring, one is to stick to a legal practitioner to guide one on which of the modes of legal corporate restructuring someone is supposed to employ. And once someone has a guided about that, 
the legal professional with advice on the steps to be taken for a successful corporate restructuring process. I am Zena Afolabi. Thank you for listening.